Degree days are a commemoration of success. You've worked hard and you've achieved a degree which will have deepened your knowledge in various ways and will be the basis for many of you for a new career. So the first thing I must say is many, many congratulations on that achievement. The second thing is to say that I very much hope that you've enjoyed your time at Leeds and that you'll now always think of it as your university. I hope that you will look out for news of us. We have ambitious plans for the future and I know that some of you will be able to help us achieve these. You'll all be well aware that we're living in a rapidly changing world. If there's any stability in that world, it's the idea of accepting the concept of lifelong learning. That will enable you to respond to change. It will enable you both to enrich your life and provide the basis for future development, more career development. This university is now committed to a rapidly expanding program of continuing education, both with courses on campus uh, and delivered into workplaces. What you might also do for us is actually bring your experience of work back to the campus to help us teach on some of these courses. So one way or another, please keep in touch. I know that you'll be proud to be a Leeds graduate. On behalf of all of us in the university, congratulations again on your success and all best wishes from all of us for your future career.
This congregation for the conferment of degrees is held in conformance with the university's charter, statutes and ordinances. After that rather solemn welcome, which is actually meant to make the whole occasion legal, I've got three very pleasant tasks. Firstly, on behalf of all of us from the university, we'd simply like to say congratulations to you who are about to graduate. For a few more seconds, you're still technical students, but cleaned up. We hope you've had a very enjoyable and profitable three or four years here, and that you'll go on to have very successful careers indeed. We know you'll be a credit to us. Secondly, I would again, on behalf of us all, like to say a very warm, sincere welcome to all the parents and friends of our students who are here today. It's not necessarily very often that you have the chance to be in the same room uh, with your uh, children or, or friends in the university, but we really do welcome you. We know how much we indirectly depend on you since you support our students who provide the money which uh, supports us. And thirdly, I would like to say uh, on behalf of myself a very warm thanks to those who today uh, only sit and wait, uh, our colleagues from the department who, and the other parts of the university who have obviously contributed enormously to everything that's happened today. I should say that despite the fact that it all looks rather solemn, it is meant to be a, a relaxed an enjoyable occasion, so if you wonder whether it's all right to take photographs, the answer is yes. If you want to move to the side from time to time, do, but please remember uh, that to be considerate to other people. The hall in which we're in is known as the Great Hall and is in fact one of the oldest parts of the university and dates from the very early 1870s. The way we as a university started is reminiscent of, of many modern concerns about education and wealth creation. A group of lo local medical men, because Leeds had a, has had a medical school for a, much longer than the universities existed, attended the Paris exhibition of 1871 and came to the conclusion that the continental workmen were actually rather better educated than their own. So they decided they would try to establish a college here in Yorkshire. An appeal to local business, uh, including a rather large dona donation from the worshipful, worshipful company of cloth workers, raised the money to found a college. It was originally known as the Yorkshire College of Science, and the subjects taught to begin with were chemistry, geology, mathematics, mining, physics, and textiles. I should add, if this seems a rather austere program, Art subjects were soon added, including classics, English, French, German, history, and rather surprisingly, Oriental languages. The word science was soon dropped from the title, and the college simply became known as the Yorkshire College. And in fact, you can see the old logo, the YC, up there near the roof. Uh, this hall was recently refurbished, thanks again to a generous grant from the cloth workers, and is more or less exactly as it was, 120 years old. So this is, insofar as we've got a history, a substantial part of it. Of course, there have been many changes in the university itself. Originally, the college had 24 students, so they and all the staff could fit comfortably into this building, and indeed it must have seemed a great hall. Now we've grown so much that we have to have over 20 degree ceremonies, and even then, it is, as today, rather full. We've now got some 17,000 students, 6,000 of whom have been added in the last four, six years. As you know, it's been government policy to expand the number of students. The government wants to do so for much the same reason as we were founded, concerned with skills of the workforce. And we've made a major contribution to that expansion, growing at a much quicker rate than at any other time in our history. This has, of course, involved an enormous amount of extra work for our staff, whose numbers, needless to say, have not increased proportionately. At the same time, we do realise how important it is for us to offer the same quality of teaching and of student life to our students. So it's particularly pleasing that this year a major extension to the Brotherton Library was opened, 
as was an extension to the student union, which forms a very important part of our students' life here. A new language centre will open in the autumn, and a major up upgrade of lecture theatres so that they can cope with the latest technology is about to commence. And throughout this period, we've had a major building programme to increase the number of student residences. Initially, all our students, unsurprisingly, came from West Yorkshire, but now they come from over 90 different countries. Having started as a local university, we're now a major national and international university. And we have to be, because to have a big impact on the domestic stage, one has, like a business, to have one on the international stage as well. And whereas we started with a relatively modest set of subjects, we now teach more or less everything. Indeed, we are one of the few universities big enough to maintain all fundamental disciplines. Of those many subjects, only two are represented today. They're both extremely distinguished uh, departments with very high uh, reputation for the research uh, that they do. Mathematics, of course, has been here from the beginning. In fact, it's really been here from uh, the beginning of knowledge. And maths, and that's so because maths is, of course, fundamental to the whole of science. Without the development of the calculus, modern physics would not have been possible. And without that, most of what we take for granted, from 747s to spacecraft, would simply not exist. So if your car goes more quickly because it's more aer aerodynamic, or your engine has a much improved performance, you can be sure that an applied mathematician, and probably one from Leeds, has been at work. <laughs> if you go to hospital to have a scan on one of the modern imaging machines, work being done here at Leeds and statistics, together with computer science, is improving those quality, the quality of those images to produce very complex three-dimensional representations. In spite of all this excitement, because maths is difficult, sometimes unbelievably difficult, it's not easy to attract students, and the department here has been extremely successful in doing so because of all the effort it's put into new approaches to teaching and recruitment, including the four-year Erasmus scheme with one year in Europe, which is extremely, uh, extremely successful. One of the fascinations of pure mathematics, which I haven't yet mentioned, is the fact that the most abstruse inquiries can turn out to be applied for all that in the first instance nobody would have dreamt that they could be. Turing's work, for example, on recursive functions, which is an abstract part of mathematical logic, turned out to be a major impetus towards the development of computer science. Which brings me to the other subject represented here today, computer studies. Compared with mathematics, it's frankly an upstart. We've had a department for a little over a quarter of a century, and this ceremony, in fact, marks the 25th anniversary of the first graduates in computational science gaining their BSCs in 1969, which is, I think, uh, something to celebrate. Since then, the department has grown and now has an extraordinary range of interests and achievements. In effect, everything that can be digitized is a potential subject for computer studies, which means virtually everything. So you'll find the work of the department in all sorts of places. Transport scheduling, for example, is a difficult task, and we're delighted that the expertise here has been recognised by the award of a chair to Tony Wren this year. The department's collaboration with statistics and medical physics in the field of medical imaging has been mentioned already, and is increasingly important, not, a, not only diagnostically, but also in surgery, uh, because medicine is relying more and more on imaging techniques. And one more example from, from many others, the department is also very actively involved in the Keyworth Institute for Manufacturing Information S Systems, working with engineers and, me and, and, and members of our School of Business and Economic Studies to improve the management of information within large uh, manufacturing firms, which is an extremely difficult and complex task. So, not to bore you, I said it was meant to be basically a, a, a relaxed occasion, I would just conclude by saying that this brief survey shows, I hope, that we have lived up to our motto, which is, uh, you can read in Latin uh, on, 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 on the crest behind us, I won't, I won't try to actually uh, pronounce the Latin, but in English it reads, and knowledge shall be increased, and we hope we 
help to do that. Thank you. I call upon the Registrar. The degree of Doctor of Philosophy to be presented by Professor French. Mr. Pro Vice Chancellor, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, John Stephen Hughes. Jonathan Mark Harper Nash. Tim O'Donoghue. <laughs> Justin Michael Ware. <laughs> to be presented by Professor Brindley. Pro Vice Chancellor, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Stephen Michael Collier. <laughs> Philip Richard Creed. Sarah Jane Elizabeth Dover. Mark Ian Nelson. Sarian Center. Lisa Nicola Whiffen. The degree of Master of Science to be presented by Professor French. Mr. Pro Vice Chancellor, I present to you for the degree of Master of Science, Edward Michael Williams. The degree of Bachelor of Science to be presented by Professor French. <laughs> Mr. Pro Vice Chancellor, I present to you for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, Ma Matthew James Armstrong. Christopher Graham Bland. Mark Simon Brown. Dominic Francis Bush. Richard Crowther. <laughs> Clifford Finlay Evans. <laughs> Daniel Richard Grimes.
Neil Andrew Holt. Richard Scott Jameson. Adrian Ashley Judd. Oliver David Laho. Ian Martin. Edwin Saul Melman. Daniel Trevor Mod. David William Monks. Andrew David Nelson. Darren John Quinn. Adam Timothy Richardson. Raiden James Roberts. <laughs> Stephen Rowett. <laughs> Derek Mark Sargent. Peter John Lapton Southwell. Andrew James Soy. Robert Anthony Swift. Ying Kim Ken Tang. Adam Tomlinson. Kevin John Watts. Barry Williams. Why Tak You? For the degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours in Computer Science with Artificial Intelligence, Daniel Bennett. Gavin Edward Churcher. Jason Robert Finch. Timothy James Hur. Neil Johnson. Michael John Cleavy. <laughs> Alistair John Simpson. <laughs> Michael Robert South.
Matthew James Wakeley. Alexander Howard Warden. For the degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours in Computer Science with Operational Research, Wan Hing Chan. Lindsay Ann Foster. Huang <laughs> Wing Ma. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours in Computer Science with Software Technology, Rose Azlita Ahmed. Carl M. L. Berlin. <laughs> Jason Keith Fig. <laughs> Angelique Liardi. Andrew May. <laughs> Stephen John Millington. <laughs> Darren Russell O'Dowell. Stephen Richards. <laughs> Daniel Michael Stevens. <laughs> Michael Neil Stollery. Meng Tai. <laughs> Michael Anthony Taylor. <laughs> Christopher Williams. Jim and Mark Joseph Young. <laughs> Ernest Ming Xing Yun. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours in Data Processing, Michael Robert Williamson. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours in Information Systems, Jenny Brennan. <laughs> Alexander Cuthbert. <laughs> Margaret Mary Geraldine Egan. Emma Maria Forsey. <laughs> Paula Gamage. <laughs> Spencer David Gilbertson. Good luck. 
What's it about, Tim Hassan? Christopher Francis Hudson. Christopher Nee. Vaclav Karol Koblizek. Paul Adrian Landreth Smith. <laughs> Philip Arthur Frank Newbold. <laughs> Robert Anthony North. Brian Edward Phillips. <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> Kevin Ray. <laughs> Stephen Robinson. Benjamin Sargent. Gregory David Sindon. Yeah, Tamar. Darren Isaac Tate. <laughs> Matthew John Timberlake. <laughs> Richard Peter Tregic. Yen Turek Vong. <laughs> David Sinclair Walton. <laughs> si Ming Cecilia Wong. Awatif Hussain Yaya. For the degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours in Information Systems with Artificial Intelligence, Simon Jules Coop. Joel Nicholas Green. Daniel Stephen Lynch. Leon Panaquin Chadwick. For the degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours in Information Systems with Decision Support, Chaka Cheng. Wykey James Lamb. <laughs> Randhir Mohan Sharma. <laughs> Ning Jia Tang. To be presented by Professor Brindley.
Pro Vice Chancellor, I present to you for the degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours in Mathematics, Christopher John Peter Allies. Andrew Simon Baker. Simon Lee Barron. <laughs> Timothy Peter Barton. <laughs> Claire Bezzik. Sally Louise Booth. <laughs> Keith Andrew Briggs. <laughs> Andrew David Bucker. Thomas Alexander Button. <laughs> Simon John Coldwell. <laughs> Martin James Carpenter. Wendy Ann Coyle. <laughs> Isabel Kate Cuffin. <laughs> Neil Daniel. Matthew Stephen Davids. <laughs> Simon Dawson. <laughs> Anthony Deborah. Colette Gill. <laughs> Kirsty Ann Goddard. <laughs> Ian Greenfield. Gary James Harrison. Andrew Robert Hassel. Jeremy Bruce Hewitts. Nathan Andrew Hodge. <laughs> Robert Charles Philip Hosker. <laughs> Jane Kirkbride. Bernard William the Pit of Van Dieleroo. <laughs> Alexander Little. <laughs> Stephen Lubbock.
John Robert Mickleborough. Andrew Craig Monteith. Ian Joseph Morton. Louise Ann Needham. Richard David Pearson. Susan Platt. Sarah Louise Pope. Matthew David Fulton. <laughs> Stephen James Powell. <laughs> Karen Murray Price. Jennifer Prince. Sarah Lucy Pye. Wendy Gillian Roberts. Andrew Robson. <laughs> Elizabeth Susan Roche. <laughs> Adam Daniel Rosenberg. Matthew James Rosen. <laughs> Andy Seferta. Good luck. Gary John Shaw. Michael Paul Shaw. <laughs> David Simpson. <laughs> Catherine Helen Smith. Justine Sazi. <laughs> Robin Durwood Thornton. <laughs> Stuart John Toad. Darren Paul Wakeley. <laughs> Marcus Clive Wormsley. <laughs> Daniel Robin White.
David Whitehouse. Simon Edward Vaughan Williams. Peter Christopher Wood. And for the ordinary degree of Bachelor of Science, Mark Anthony Walton. The degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours in Mathematics European, Andrew Simon Archer. <laughs> Catherine Ann Penn Bremer. <laughs> Lawrence Julian Davis. Catherine Elizabeth Gartside. Congratulations. Simon John Hill. Amhad Hussein. Sarah Ann King Hill. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Prescott. <laughs> Duncan Andrew Southgate. Alex James Ward. <laughs> Andrew Gordon White. <laughs> and Adrian David Williams. I call upon the Registrar to announce the prizes. The following prizes have been awarded. In the School of Computer Studies, the Buckley Prize to Stephen Rowett, the Cook Prize to Derek Mark Sargent and to Barry Williams, and the School of Computer Studies prizes to Robert Henry Briggs, Stephanie Rachel Fountain, and Andrew Lee. In the School of Mathematics, the Brodetsky Prize to Gary John Sharp, the Cowling Prize to Christopher Allen Powell, the Ruse Prize to Matthew Borry Georgie, and the Ursel Prize to Neil Daniels. Crabtree Prizes are awarded each year for outstanding academic achievement in the first year of study. Among the prize winners this year, are Nancy Ka Yi Chan, Timothy John Ward, and Neil James Foston of Computer Studies. I declare this congregation closed.